What's up, guys? It's Fake Thriller, and today bringing you something a little different. It is some uh, rush on Battlefield Bad Company 2, and uh, I'm loving this game right now. I know we're about nine months late to the party, uh, but you know I'm really sad that that not too many people are into this because it seems to be overall like a. a I mean, it's definitely a different game. I, I don't know if I can say better game, but I'm definitely enjoying it more than Black Ops right now. Um, it's a nice change of pace and everything. So if you haven't played it, um, maybe pick it up, rent it, you, you know, give yourself a, a little bit of time to adjust to it from Call of Duty, but um, I think you might enjoy it. The only problem is, for posting videos, uh, these games are insanely long. Uh, this one, in particular, I think was just over 20 minutes long, and, uh, you know, that never happens. Maybe on, like, the longest possible combination of demolition you can get 20 minutes um, but now it's a lot of fun you know especially if you team up with uh, some friends and everything it, I, I actually it's on my list of games that are only fun if you're playing with friends and uh, because you know you sort of squat up and everything and you don't have to you, you can spawn on each other you don't have to worry about things and but what I did with this video is um, sort of cut down you know, sort of key points of the game or highlights or uh, funny moments or something like that because uh, there's plenty of funny moments because we're still like kind of learning how to play this game and uh, haven't quite mastered everything yet but um, if anybody out there that's watching this has this game and wants to play um, play it with me or me and Snoo send me a friend request to fake thriller um, because I could use I could use some other people to play with because not that many people are on this. Everyone on my friends list is always online. I always got like 11 or 12 people online uh, on my friends list, but uh, everyone's always on Black Ops, which I'm kind of kind of taking a break from Black Ops right now. I got Fallout New Vegas that's taking up some of my time, and so when I go online um, to play like a multiplayer game, I kind of want to play this. So and I, need, I still need people to, to, to help me out, tell me some things, and I, like, I, I don't understand. I've seen like the MCOM stations on Rush take damage, um, but can I damage them? Like if I throw a grenade at it, does it hurt it? Um, like when, when I'm trying to defend it, I mean. Um, also, like, can I heal myself? I, I know... I can throw those packs down on the ground. I don't know how it actually works. Do I have to do something with them, or do I just stand over it? Um, I had a whole bunch of questions that hopefully people can answer uh, answer for me. Um, I don't know what else. I, I was playing a, as an engineer primarily, and uh, I actually maxed it out. I just unlocked the UMP45. Um, I got everything unlocked for it. But I think the medic class serves me better, and as you'll see in this video, I get a few, um, you know, good uh, spray sessions because I, I got 100 bullets in my clip. I don't have to worry about reloading constantly. Like the engineer class, you can kill one person, uh, maybe two if you ration your bullets out well enough. But uh, the medic class here is is fucking perfect. The only thing I, I do have to say, which is annoying, which and I've read it in other places. Um, and heard about it in other videos and stuff is people that feel the need to play the recon kit um, you know it's almost like there's two different games being played on every single game it's like uh, the middle of the objective areas there's the medics assault and engineer kits and then on the back lines of both people's base it's like the recon sniper is trying to be epic like Watch this part. <laughs> Snoo was swimming in the lake. I tried to pick him on the jet ski. I parked the jet ski right on a rock. Bailed just in time. And that shit gets blown the fuck up. And he got killed with it. Um, that's, that's kind of the shit that happens all the time. Because we don't know what the hell we're doing half the time. So please somebody send us a, a message on YouTube or something. Telling us that you want to play with us. There's another little fail session. Um... We've sort of decided that Snoo's no good at flying the helicopter, but um, if I see, I'm better than Snoo at flying the helicopter, and this is how well I do. So um, you can imagine what it's like when Snoo does it. But um, 
Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching Battlefield. Uh, oh, you know, I crashed into the side of the mountain. Um, I think we're gonna thin out the uh, the amount of videos that we that we post. Like we were for a few, for a while there, we were posting like like really really often. I think it was a little too too much. We didn't have much to talk about and everything. Um, I know personally that I'm gonna have some things coming up that's gonna probably take up a lot of my time and keep me from being able to really even play games. So, and for anyone who's wondering what that is. Um, Imagine what the biggest thing in your life could possibly be that would take up a whole shit ton of your time and uh, write it in the comments and I'll tell you if you're right or not. Um, anywho, getting back to uh, the gameplay or something. Um, how are you guys doing? I, I know we got a, a few new subscribers. Uh, I appreciate everyone who's subbed to the channel in the past you know, couple weeks. It's been a crazy time and... Um, we really appreciate anyone that's new to comment or, uh, you know, let us know that you're here. <laughs> Contribute to the, uh, the, the comment section, the channel, and all that stuff. And we like the feedback, so if you want to see anything specific. I'm actually thinking about starting a couple uh, Let's Plays on my other channel. Um, I haven't posted any videos there, uh, but you'll see it in my sub box, uh, my fake thriller channel. I was going to do a New Vegas Let's Play, but I think that's way too big of a game to sort of do for my, my first Let's Play. Um, I think FPS Kyle did one of them, would be in like 90 videos or something like that. Um, I think, I'm think i also thinking about doing some live commentaries, because i got to figure out a way to cut down on the time it takes to make a video and everything, and I think live commentaries could be good. Um, obviously, it's not going to be on Battlefield, because I can't be having a 30 two minute video I mean I guess technically we could YouTube was telling us we got a little box up there now that says you have uh, become uh, uh, uploads of longer than 15 minutes are now available for your channel so we could do videos that are longer than that and maybe with the let's plays like we'll uh, we'll look into that but um, I don't know for right now just playing games having fun um, spending gift cards at GameStop and everything uh, I have this problem where, like, I kind of like, um, I like the way having games, like, on my bookshelf looks, it, or, like, you know, like, with all your DVDs and stuff, like, I'm, I've never, ever been one to trade in my games, um, just, it just, mostly, like, at first it was, like, for sentimental value, like, no, there's no way I can trade in this game because, you know, in two years, like, like, uh, I'm a big Resident Evil fan, and there's no way I'm going to go trade in, like, Resident Evil 4. Like, that game's got unlimited replayability. Um, it's, like, one of the best games ever made, and it's not worth it to get $12 for it just so I could buy, um, I don't know, whatever game came out after Resident Evil 4. Um, so I have this problem. Like, I, I bought Bad Company. I got it for 40 bucks uh, at Target. I think the Ultimate Edition or whatever. And, uh... I realized, like, you know, like, we, we've been stuck with Call of Duty for so long, like, you, you almost get in, like, tunnel vision, it seems, and you, you forget to give other games a chance. I think you could go back and find a dual com with us where we're talking about how, um, I remember doing the dual com. I have to, maybe I'll link it in the video. Uh, me and Snoob were talking about Bad Company. Um, oh, it was a gameplay on Favela, the, uh, Modern Warfare 2, obviously. And uh, both of us were saying, yeah, no, it never really appealed to us, never really caught our eye. Like, neither of us had played it or anything. Um, but after, like, like, thinking about that and then now realizing that I, like, I just want to play this game instead of Call of Duty, um, it, it makes me want to go back and play other games. Like, I didn't even think twice about Medal of Honor. And... Uh, and now, like, after I realized, like, I didn't give this game a chance, and now this game's awesome, and so I didn't give Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor a chance, and I know a lot of people did like that for a while. Uh, I know Veggie was into that game for a long time, and uh, he, he posted a lot of videos of it. Like, it seemed like it could have been, could have been good, but uh, we just sort of wrote it off. So now I want to go back and, like, I'm, like, looking at Amazon and stuff to see how cheap I can get all these games. I'm not actually gonna get it. Like I, I, I almost ordered Medal of Honor. I think it would have been like forty bucks or something like that, maybe thirty-five bucks. 
uh, depending if I got it used or not. But basically, it was just going to sit on my bookshelf because I know I was never going to play. Like I can barely get people to play Bad uh, Bad Company Two. Never mind. That um, one that came and went faster than uh, than Bad Company Two did because Black Ops came out. So. Um, but I have this thing where, like, it, I kind of justify it because it would look sweet on the bookshelf next to, like, all my other games. And, uh, I don't know, that's just, like, a kooky little way that I, that the way I think. Um, I don't like to trade my games in. I like, I like the idea of having a collection. I, I think I have, like, four or five, four or five games on my bookshelf right now that I have um, put less than 30 minutes of game time in. And it's just because they were like good deals at Target or something. Like, uh, like I know I got Burnout Paradise. I think it is. I think I got like the Ultimate Super Edition for twenty bucks. And I want to pick up like Metal Gear Solid Four because it's on sale for every, everywhere for like twenty bucks. And I got Assassin's Creed Two that I put maybe fifteen minutes worth of play time in. But I don't get rid of these games because I like the way they look on my bookshelf. It's some weird mental disorder. I don't know. Um, do you guys do anything like that? I know a lot of people in the YouTube scene sort of bail on games as soon as they, you know, as soon as the next game comes out, but I don't know what the hell I've been talking about for the past 10 minutes, 11 minutes now. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, make a comment as to what what you think might be coming up that might take me away from this YouTube scene. Um, and if you get it right, I'll give you a cookie. Anyway, this is Fake Thriller. You see here, I'm a level 9 corporal, whatever you call it. I maxed out the engineer. I'm trying to get the medic now. I, I'm on my way to getting the defibrillator so I can start bringing people back to life. Um, send me a friend request. Uh, but in the friend request, write Battlefield or something like that so I know that's what you're there for. And uh, you'll get top priority to the to, you know, top of the list. Anyway, it's Fake Thriller for Shusty Bang. Peace out, guys.